Is there a problem, Secretary? No problem whatsoever, Madam. Here's to loyalty. My man on the island confirms that the Constant has arrived. We head out at sundown. Here, in case the crew get ideas. Why are you doing this, Mr. Gray? You had a chance to walk away. Why didn't you? A year ago, I'm working security for this banker, Cobb. Only to find out he's a Providence operative. I'd been running for decades, only to wind up where I started. We've all got barcodes on the back of our heads. Most people just never notice. 47 told me about your parents. How did they die? Car bomb. Surrey, 1989. Company named Blue Seed didn't care to pay for their mistakes. But I like to think no one's untouchable. I'm... I'm sorry for your loss. You feel it, don't you? Unlike him, you feel it all. Everything you've done. It's a dangerous thing, having a conscience. Attention, gentlemen. Our source on the island just made a critical discovery. The Constant has a poison chip embedded in his neck. A failsafe, in case he's compromised. Damn it. Uh, we should have expected something like this. So, we subdue the Constant before he has time to react. Not that simple. The device is remote triggered, and during his stay on the island, two kill switches have been entrusted to twin sisters Zoe and Sophia Washington, two young, ambitious Providence operatives and newly appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Apparently, even the Constant is unaware of this arrangement. Right, change of plans. We divide and conquer. 47 takes out the Washingtons while I figure out a way to get the Constant off the island. It'll be tight, but once we're back at the ship, we should be able to surgically remove the chip before the partners have time to react. 47? Tell me about the targets. I know them from the Ark line. Zoe and Sophia's father is president of a powerful conservative think tank one of Providence's prime assets. The apples don't fall far from the tree. No saints either. According to ICA files, the twins are pampered socialites who get their kicks from treasure hunting. Commanding a band of trigger-happy mercenaries, Zoe and Sophia prowl the world in search for ancient relics. With little regard for local culture or even human life, they stop at nothing to claim their prize. Well, collateral damage they may be, but safe to say, they have it coming. The Isle of Scale, headquarters of the Ark Society. Founded by Janus in 1991, the Ark Society is the world's most exclusive club. Its plutocratic members fear the downfall of civilization, and they are willing to pay huge sums to ensure their own survival. Once a year, they gather here to shop the latest survival products and to showcase new initiatives and breakthroughs. 
Right. These gatherings are shrouded in mystery, so we have limited intel on what to expect on the other side of the walls. The Washington Twins are hosting their first annual gathering as chairwomen of the Ark Society, and the Constant is known to attend every year. Beyond that, you're on your own. Good luck, gentlemen. I dare say you're going to need it. The annual Phoenix service you know, right. symbolizes the collapse of civilization in which the Ark Society oh, I'd pay any amount to sit him down in front of this. Ah, it rebirth. Interesting. Zoe Washington is going to partake in a ceremony symbolizing the downfall of civilization from which the Ark Society will emerge unscathed. Apparently, a giant Phoenix-shaped effigy is set on fire with Zoe inside it. Well, I suggest you locate this master of ceremonies who lights the Fire 47. If this doesn't sound like an accident waiting to happen, I don't know what does. I get it. What's new is that the master of ceremonies will light the effigy on fire with Zoe Washington inside. Huh. A bit showy, wouldn't you say? Right. You are not authorized to hit us, sir. See nothing. Hey, what are you? Some kind of thief? You can't 
be here. Hey, you stop! Fire up, Will! Enjoy your evening. symbolizes the collapse of civilization from which the Ark Society emerges unscathed and triumphant. Ah, rebirth. Interesting. I get it. What's new is that the Master of Ceremonies might be able to be on the fire. Maybe it's just a more of a show, sir. I'll tell you another interesting fact about this castle. It was ravaged by the plague of the and only the lady of the house, her youngest son, and a few servants survived. They buried him. Seriously, I'll, I'll pay you. Me? You're in the master of self. I'm a multiple Tony award-winning playwright. And famously reclusive. It's part of my brand. I never got a spot like this. Besides, I do chamber plates. Not for spectacle. But people hate it. They won't hate it, Mr. Feniger. It's just entertainment. Entertainment? What have I done? Did I let her talk me into this? Should I tell Miss Washington that you won't be going on stage? Everyone's waiting for you. God, no. No, she frightens me. Just, uh, just, just give me a moment to control my nerves. All right, Mr. Penninger. Break a leg. Hello, sir.
phone ring that I have the shit in my hand. Hello? Thank you, is it? Whoa! Stop right there! Let the body go! Oh no, you don't! Drop the tool right now! Don't do it, you! <coughs> Right. Hello, sir. The crowd was starting to get restless. Your peers are waiting by the stage, and the torch is ready by the money bin. Watch. Master of Ceremony, catch Good to see you. Thank you, Christ. Ready when you are. A handsome pledge, and yet, a drop in the ocean. Zoe Washington, the Ark Society recognizes you as our Founder's rightful successor, our inspiration, our guiding light, the custodian of our future. Excellent work, 47. Enjoy the spotlight. Patrons of the Ark Society, you are part of a select, chosen few. Yes, hello. Our Founder, Janus, showed us how to survive. But survival is not enough. We must live and we must soar. The Ark Society must not only commit itself to survival, but to progress. Be it our next home in the stars, or the next step in human evolution. This is the eternal purpose of the Elite. Not just to lead, but to lead from the front. When the time comes, and all comes tumbling down. When mankind retreats once more into caves of superstition. We will keep the fire alight. We will be the torchbearers. The trailblazers and pioneers do, do not feel guilty for your privilege. Be proud. Be fearless. For the future is ours to shape. Look at you, Finnegar. All dressed to kill. Now, let's do this thing. Light her up. As the world burns, we rise from its ashes. Not just to survive, but to live.
One target down. Nice work, 47. Next up, Sophia Washington. Well, sir. Recess. Sophia Washington wants them to pass some kind of motion, but one of the council members is fighting her tooth and nail. Huh. Wouldn't happen to be Jebediah Block, the coal baron, would it? Yeah. How do you know? Well, I happen to know he's on the council. So 